Two, three. Ten more Electrolux. This is. What does it say? It doesn't say. We go down here. Look down here. Electrolux Home Products. GLTF2940 FE1. And somebody called me, they said, well, it took a surge. Well, we had the power went out here in Northern California. And then it came back on. And when this thing came back on, it basically blew the board. Uh, blew that control board. Basically, there's a, a fuse in there that goes. Um, it's not exactly a fuse. It's a, it's a high, high voltage spike component. And so, I started taking it apart. When I took it apart, all these little springs pop loose these things just pop out of here so they're pretty tricky to deal with so if you take this board apart uh, just leave this part face down and then there's little clips you can see the little clips in there that hold the board in to there's little clips here clip there clip there and possibly a clip here and a clip here Remember where your timer knob is so that you can place it back correctly on the board here Make sure that you know this one I set up at the top dead center spin cycle and So yeah, the little springs when I pull this off when I pull that face off All the little springs popped out and all these little things came loose and fell all over the place So if you take this board off make sure that part is face down so you don't uh, so you uh, save all those little doodads in there and so if we look at it and we can see this burnt marks here inside here burnt marks okay so luckily enough these plugs will not plug into anywhere else there's only one place they can plug into and so it should be pretty easy to put back together and as you can see I keep wanting to call this thing a shunt I'm not sure if it's called the technical name is called shunt or not, but basically that little guy right there. Well, it takes the power surge. So basically, when a surge go in goes into the board, then instead of blowing up any other components or maybe just chips here, um, it blows this thing. And so basically. I can't remember exactly. I'm just going to go and replace this component, but I believe that thing um, That thing I think it actually when it blows it creates a, a Creates continuity so when it creates continuity it uh, Creates an automatic shutdown circuit to activate as I recall and so yeah I'm going to replace that and this capacitor here looks sort of questionable uh, it's actually not bleeding right now, but if that capacitor were bleeding, I may replace that. Okay, so here is the component. Basically, a closer view. I don't know if there's any better or not. Sunlight works pretty good. Yeah, so yeah, that's the, that's the culprit right there. It's that thing. And I just so happened to have another board that has a good one on it that I'm going to take off this one. It's not exactly the same, very similar, but not the same. I'm going to take this off, that little yellow thing there, and swap it I may actually swap that capacitor you can see how the top of that capacitor on the top left there see that one's a little bulgy and the one here in the bottom right is more flat okay so I was able to check these components with the meter so these capacitors here are still good and we got the new component in so hopefully we'll be able to button it back up I took off the front panel to uh, treat it for rust and we got a little coat of rust 
uh, de resto paint on it and should be back to packed and ready to roll. Okay, there's the old parts. There's the paint job. Um, okay, so I had to glue this back together. It was like, uh, it uh, took some hard hard abuse, you can see. What I used is, uh, it's, auto, it's automotive glue, basically. Um, this is the Goop automotive style that I use. And you can see, it's pretty strong stuff. You could probably use JB Quick Weld or something like that and make it work. Um, the thing about this goop and the same thing with like E6000 is it dries pliable. So it's a little bit rubbery. So it's not going to snap and break right off the bat. Um, and so, yeah, I got this all lined up. It's actually fairly simple if you look at it closely. And then this thing here, this one wire, I couldn't figure out where it went goes to this that's the water level switch so and otherwise got it back together I need to glue this part back on here too because this got broken in the move and so if you need any help you can contact me 707-443-8347 Pacific time I give phone advice for $25 thanks for watching